So uh, with this tool, you can basically create your own shaders in Play Canvas without dealing material uh, or scripting system. Um, so in this uh, example, I will basically try to create some sort of water shader. So I prepared this uh, model on Blender. It's just a grid, um, nothing fancy. And I'll just you know put this on the scene and just scale it up like this. And um, let me just put it like that. And you basically click on launch and to see if the model looks like uh, this and then disable shadows and um, this is the script that I prepared for Play Canvas. You can basically attach that script to any model and it should be a model component. Make sure it's not render component that uh, Play Canvas introduced recently. So um, just add the script to it and this script basically uses material and modifies the chunks of it to create a custom shader. Basically um, drag and drop this uh, material to the script and as you can see we have three parts actually four parts and you can basically attach uh, any texture to the material with this um, area but let me show you first of all um, the debug mode so whenever you um, refresh the page we basically set this shader that um, that uh, comes in default mode but what you want to do is basically pre uh, enable debug mode and refresh the page again so it will basically show a shader editor like this, super simple. Let me explain how it works. This is just, um, this part is for color for the shader and this is for vertices. You can modify these parts and see chains immediately. For example, uh, I can like modify the color in the scene without just doing anything, basically playing with the numbers. But that way, uh, you can basically see the change, any change um, visually on your scene uh, without refreshing or just, you know, um, doing stuff like that, right? So um, right now, I want to attach this pertinent noise texture to it. So I basically add a texture to the textures array and drag and drop my texture to it. And now I can use this texture with the variable name like this on my shader. For example, I have this, uh, let's just create uh, this variable called pertinent noise and it's going to be using texture zero variable here that I set. And then uh, what I can do is basically just set it here. And as you can see, I can set the texture color to the color. Um, there are stuff that I can do. Um, there are variables that I can use in the shader system. For example, let me create a time um, a vector uh, for my shader. I can use timestamp, right? And then uh, let's just call this offset. And then I can add this offset to my UV map to see chains immediately. I can change the speed like this and see chains immediately again. So this is very useful to create like um, visual materials if you want to just play with the variables and see chains immediately. And whenever you're done with the, your shader, you, you basically click this copy button here and basically paste it here on the shaders uh, part and disable is debug mode and refresh the page. Um, this is going to be your material that you can use in the game. As you can see, it's dynamic. It uses like uh, material and this texture, and you can actually clone this object as well. But let's just uh, stick to what what we planned and just try to create some sort of water shader in this example, so you have some sort of idea uh, for use cases. So, um, in order to create a water shader, it's complex. Like you can come up with different ideas, but I'll so uh, I'll basically uh, try to use color variable and textures in order to create some sort of um, water looking uh, shader or material, let's say. Um, so um, let's just call something water one. So this is going to be our first texture. I basically um, um, uh, blend two textures uh, with different offsets together in order to create some sort of water looking shader. So um, let me just create uh, something called offset one and let's just create something called offset two. So these are going to be our offsets, obviously. Um, so let's just modify the variables a little bit. Make sure the uh, numbers are float numbers because OpenGL doesn't basically support 
like integer numbers and vectors um, I believe I'm not sure I'm not expert but that's the case at least for me um, so water one and water two is going to be like this but as you can ima as you can imagine I need to um, uh, merge two textures together in order to create some sort of uh, water looking shadow so what I'm going to do is just uh, add minus here to basically combine those two textures together uh, let me just slow it down a little bit so I have uh, different ideas about it so whenever you slow it down you can see it's basically like um, has some sort of um, water looking feeling right so what I can do is just uh, maybe multiply this uh, because um, like it's almost the same but you know has different like uh, contrast uh, what you can do uh, change the offset for the second one or just add uh, like different offset to make it more like not repetitive I believe so let me just uh, change my camera position like this so I can uh, see it from this this uh, far away um, so you can also change the um, opacity of the object here as well or you can basically like connect it to the um, like um, the the Perlin noise that we created here like you can do this and I don't know like you can basically come up with different ideas obviously but let's just make it so it's just uh, like this right now um, so uh, let me also show you the ver vertices part so you have some sort of ideas for that part too as you can see you can modify all of this um, shader in just one editor which makes it easier because like I I designed it with that way because I was feeling that it's just much easier for me to design something um, just copy that part and paste it here and then create um, like let's call it noise we're gonna be basically uh, summing up those numbers and I'll be using uh, this um, the height of the burden noise here uh, maybe we can just multiply this to make it smoother or something um, then as you can see you can actually uh, modify the vertices height with that way like you can obviously do that for other axes as well um, it depends what you want to do in this case I want to make some sort of water shader so this is um, this is much better for me right now um, also what you can do add uh, colors to it or vectors or numbers as you can see here so these uh, I made it because um, I have a second monitor I can basically put it uh, my play canvas and launch screen uh, besides the, uh, side by side and then uh, change any variable here and see change immediately right now since I'm recording that secret I'll be basically doing something here and see the change on this uh, scene so let's just uh, use this color variable here so you have uh, you see what I mean so as you can see we just uh, uh, multiply those two textures but let's just use uh, color here so what you can do is basically just uh, uh, use the variable and make sure it's just RB RGB because since this is just vector tree, make sure it's also vector tree. Um, so as you can see, it's just white right now. But if I change color like to red or something, basically it will change the color as well. So this color has the the color that we set here. For now, I'm gonna be making it uh, blue because it's such water, right? Um, you can obviously use this uh, variables here too, but um, maybe vectors and numbers are more useful here So um, obviously you can you like use smooth step functions to create um, like More depth on the water shader. I'm not going to go into details for water shader Obviously there are different approaches but I wanted to showcase this uh, shader tool that I have and I've been using that uh, on my games so um, good, luck with, good luck with this tool um, you can come up with creative ideas I will also share the um, github link for this tool so whenever you have this click copy button and paste it here disable the debug and boom you have a different 
custom material that you can use in your games. Obviously, you can make this template to use in different scenes or something. Whenever you have the template, uh, you can basically drag and drop here and like have everything on your scene, which makes things easier. Anyways, have a nice day.